You want the truth? You want the truth? You can handle the truth! Oh, g'day. How you going? I'm Chris. I've started this podcast to, um, firstly give me something to kill me time, and secondly, it may give someone else in my position some hints or ideas that I, um, come up with. So the topics will mainly be about spinal cord injuries. I'll also be discussing art, as I've been doing art for about five or six years now. Had some bad medical problems, which confined me to bed a lot. Also, touch on technology and all the different gadgets, drones, some automation of the the house. Yeah, so I was born in 1971 in Wagga and lived in primary school years in a small town of Coolerman. So we moved from there to Canberra in, when I was in year seven. So I got me a year 12 certificate in 1989 and I started the reserves in, I think it would have been midway through 1989. I was uh, seven and a nine months. That was good money. And you got to blow shit up, what more could you ask for? I'd also land an apprenticeship as a wood machinist. I was at the sawmill, so I used to sharpen all the blades with the chippers, the um, ply mill blades, and just the blades for the six headed planers. On the lead up to me accident, I went to stay with my mate, his mum had hired a house down at Bateman's Bay, so the morning of the accident, I remember 10.30, 11, I chucked my towel, on the, towel down on the ground, and I was either walking slow or do a big run in and a dive, so I went and did the run in and a dive, because so I'd surfed at beach heaps and been body surfing a lot there over the years, uh, so I dived through a wave and it's either my feet hit the lip of the wave and angled me into the, the sand or there was a sandbar there or oh, anyway I did hit it with my head saw a flash of light I was face down in the water and couldn't roll over so after about I don't know how long it felt like ages but it was probably a couple of minutes my mate rolled me out said I was fucked uh, he said stop fucking around said I'm not. So then they took me to the beach. The Ambo took me to Batemans Bay Hospital where they put in the drips and then took me by ambulance to Canberra Hospital. And that was the trip usually takes about an hour and a bit but on that day it took about four hours due to the, um, the bumps in the road. Canberra I had a spinal fusion of the fifth and sixth vertebrae so basically they removed all the broken bone and the, the discs and um, got a graft off my hip and it into the void left by all the, the fragments being removed and then they put titanium scaffolding on the side with a couple of screws and then let that heal and then after about for the first couple of months I was in a pretty bad way. Um, couldn't move my arms and leg for about the first month because of the swelling around the spinal cord. So, you know, any little thing that gets on your face, an inch of fly, it was like um, torture. Yeah, I was in there for seven months doing rehab, uh, just OT and physio. I went home and went to live with the family. With Mum, Dad, and me five siblings, so uh, yeah, yeah, that was alright. But um, I kind of got a bit sick of it and a bit sick of all the rules and no independence. So I was talking to a mate, and he had um, stayed at a transitional accommodation 
in Sydney. So I was in Barilla for two years and then got the Housing Commission up on the Central Coast. Please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Also leave a like or a dislike thumb and if you have any questions leave them in the comments area and I will answer them in my next podcast. Thank you for watching.